going to call the regular council meeting of December 17th, 2012 to order at 7 p.m. Everyone please rise for the pledge. I pledge, pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Agenda be approved as presented. Motion by Mr. Ballard. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Clark. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Before we go on to citizen comment, I do want everyone to take a minute to um, give some acknowledgement to the Sandy Hook Elementary and the catastrophe that happened there on Friday for the students, staff, and their families. So if we can, we just take a moment of silence. Thank you. At this time, is there any citizen comments? Any citizen comments? Hearing none, no presentations tonight on our administrative reports, FMV report, which we don't have. Madam President, I spoke to Chuck Bailey. There are no problems at the plant, but because this was a shortened two week period down to one, the report hasn't been completed yet. It has not even been sent to the state yet. So if, uh, you, don't, if you do not mind, he'll submit it next week and then um, I could present it at the next meeting. Perfect. But there was no problems at the, at the plant. Okay, perfect. Um, may I also interject, we did get a letter from the DEQ at this time, mm -hmm. part of my uh, yeah, administrative report. Uh, real quickly, uh, December 12, 2012, notice of grant application approval for the village of Armada. This is from the DEQ related to the S2 grant. Um, I don't know if you want me to read the whole thing. Basically, we applied September 7, 2012, and determined they have determined that the application was administratively complete, effective as of December 7, 2012. The DEQ certifies that the Village of Armada is eligible to receive grant assistance as provided by Part 5204A3, and hereby approves the application. Exhibit A, attached identifies the DEQ approved grant amount along with the approved project scope budget items with approved project costs, effective grant period, start end dates, and eligible, ineligible services, if any. Uh, it does give a contact name. You may anticipate grant award in April 2013. And our contact name there is Ms. Karen Nichols. Um, second page, DEQ, DEQ approved grant amount 234,444. That is our portion of the plan cost of 264.93. I'm sorry, that's the grant amount. We have a 10% local match of 26,049. Time period for eligible costs January 2013, end date July 2015. Okay. And then the rest of the information. So that's this a 9010? This would be a 9010, yes. Okay. This is the grant to look into our infrastructure, um, not infiltration, but structural deficiencies, and in the sewer plant and all the equipment there. Mm -hmm. Again, to awesome. fix that stuff is gonna cost us additional if right. we do so choose, and then at that time we'll have to look at loans. But this will identify all the problems and um, hopefully make our system better. Mm -hmm. Okay? Perfect, good job. And thank, thank you, you to Scott for preparing it. Sorry, should throw in the acknowledgement. Does anyone have any questions? Okay, hearing none. None, Madam President, I do have the administrative report okay. received the letter uh, last week about the West Main Street uh, Coon Creek uh, from the bridge of Coon Creek all the way out to the village um, limits and this is for the 2017 project that we've applied for we stand at uh, number 11 out of 26 ranks our score was a 61 uh, the federal portion for that grant is $840,000 and the local matching funds is $210,000 with a total project 
estimated cost of $1,050,000. Um, we also uh, have a meeting, and Andy from Giffels Webster is going to uh, attend this meeting on our uh, 2014 uh, grant and the 2017 grant. So that's the East Main and West Main grants at the same time um, to where I guess they're going to cover <coughs> the regulations and how they're going to select them and we'll know sometime, probably in the say January, February, where that stands. Also, we have, uh, I had Andy work with the DTE and the DNR to extend the tree grant to the end of May 2013 in order to get the trees planted within the village. I'm going to be working with a nursery, a couple of nurseries. Uh, one of them is going to be up in Elmont. Um, getting some prices for them to come in, plant the trees, take, them, take care of the first watering, whatever they do like that, and then the village will take care of the rest of it. Okay, and I want to build into the budget each year for a $5,000 uh, amount so that we can put $5,000 in trees every year for the next few years. I think we've been doing that, haven't we? We've been putting, putting 2,000 been. in the major and 2,000 in the local. Right. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going we're gonna to up that a little bit. So you're you looking at 5,000 major, 5,000 local? Or no, no, 2,500, 2,500. 2, okay. Right. When did you say they extended that to? Uh, they extended that to the end of May <coughs> 2013. And then to go back on the um, West Main, you said we're number 11 yeah, of how many? Of uh, 26, 26 submitted. Okay. Mm -hmm. So we're in the upper 50%, so that's good. Now you said that uh, the project was like a million dollars, but we had to pay 260,000 uh, of that. With 210,000 of that, the federal portion of that is 840,000. So uh, will we have that to... Uh, Give me a long day. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm sure we'll be good. Perfect. Thank you. Does anyone have any questions? Are there any other liaison reports at this time? I just want to let everybody know that we did get our check for um, from CDBG for the uh, project, Yay. so that's okay. post out. Perfect. Good job. All right. Any other liaison reports? Hearing none, we have the consent agenda in front of us. It's the approval of the regular council meeting minutes of 12-10 of 2012 and payment of bills. Is there anything anyone wants to take out, or is there a motion at this time? Madam President, I'll move to uh, approve the consent agenda as presented. Motion by Mr. Ballard. Is there a second? Support. Support, Support by Mr. Sturrett. Any other comments? I just want to make sure everybody got that, um, yep. that little change. Okay. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. We have no old business tonight. Under new business, Planning Commission, DBA, ZBA appointments. Are there any public comments? Any public comments? Hearing none, uh, this is my agenda item. Um, the first one is Planning Commission reappointments. They are two members that are already on there, Chris Sleds and Dale Smith, and both have to be put back on there. Um, Madam President, I, as the last Planning Commission liaison, I think both of these gentlemen did an excellent job. Chris was past chairman or president of the Planning Commission, mm -hmm. and Dale Smith has excellent knowledge in the real estate field. Mm -hmm. uh, they were, they're both very good to have, and they were both instrumental in the master plan. <coughs> if you don't mind, please. I'll resolve to comply with the president's recommend, recommendation to appoint Chris Sleds to the Planning Commission to a term ending December 31st, 2015, subject to the appointing meeting of qualifications set forth in Chapter 2 of the Village Charter. Motion by Mr. Sturt. Is there a second? Support. Support, support by Mr. Conan. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. There's a second one there from Mr. Smith. Resolved to comply with the President's recommendation to appoint Dale Smith to the Planning Commission to a term ending December 31st, 2015, subject to the appointing meeting the qualifications set forth in Chapter 2 of the Village Charter. Motion by Mr. Stewart. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Ballard. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. The next is a DDA reappointment of Larry Swartz. Swartz? Swartz. Swartz? Okay. He's used to say Swartz. Um, he has asked to be put back on there. Um, I support that. 
He's been doing a great job. And mm -hmm. does anyone else have any other comments? Madam President, I'll resolve to comply with the President's recommendation to appoint Larry Schwartz to the Downtown uh, Development Authority to a term ending December 31st, 2016, subject to the appointing meeting of qualifications set forth, Chapter 2 of the Village Charter. Motion by Mr. Ballard. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Clark. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. We have received a resignation from Stella Pitlesky from the DDA. Um, obviously, it is with regret. Someone could please? Um, yes, I would uh, like to make a motion uh, to accept Stella Pitlesky's uh, resignation from the uh, DDA board, effective immediately, with regret. Are you going to read the motion that's prepared? Oh, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just, okay. Okay, <laughs> we're going to accept the resignation from Stella Pidlowski from the Downtown Development Authority with regret. Motion by Mr. Conan. Is there a second? There support. A support by Mr. Clark. Uh, before you vote, I'd like to say something on behalf of Stella. Please. Uh, Stella's a person that I think put her, her heart in the DDA. She tried to work you know, with, with our board, uh, she tried to take the citizens and the downtown um, businessmen and, and, you know, in everybody involved in all her decisions. She is just a great person to work with, and uh, this is truly one that we're losing with regret. Mm -hmm. I think Stella's been on there since the get-go. I, I think, think she, she has, too. Uh, I, I would members. like to send her a letter of um, appreciation. You know, appreciation. Mm -hmm. Okay. Any other discussion? Okay. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. Aye. All those opposed, nay. Motion carried. Thank you, Stella. Okay, the next agenda item is a CDBG reallocation. Are there any public comments? Any public comments? <coughs> Hearing none, Village Clerk, this is your agenda item. Well, this isn't, this isn't for voting, it's just food for thought. Um, we have completed the sidewalk project, like I said, we got our check-in, but we still have a balance of $5,054.21 that will need to be reallocated to another project because we don't have any sidewalks within that amount to do. Um, we were um, all at the same CDBG meeting and uh, the township clerk was there also. And we were just chit-chatting about what we had. And she had mentioned that one project that the township had at this time. Now, again, none of us are getting CDBG. Uh, we're not getting it till 2014. They're not getting it till 2015. Is that the senior center is in need of um, handicapped doors. Those senior citizens are having a hard time opening them. They're very heavy doors. I can attest to that because I've been there. Not as a senior citizen, but to help set up um, the uh, for, for voting. I did. Um, but they are a little bit um, difficult to maneuver, and um, she was going to take it to her board. I don't know if they even, even know that we're just. I, I just want to throw it out there that um, the, the estimate that they got was around $4,000. <coughs> we have $5,000 left. I know that our senior citizens use that facility. Um, we don't have to spend this money till 2013. We don't have to make a decision on this. I'm just throwing it out there as a potential project for consideration since we have to reallocate anyways. So are we going to have a CDBG committee meet? In we can we can do that, but I wanted to run it by you guys first before I even brought it up to our committee because if, right, if you're not interested, ideas, bring them to us. yeah, I mean, if you're not interested in this project at all, I want to let Mary know so their board can just go forward with whatever plans they had. But if this is something that, that <coughs> the council is willing to consider and willing to do, then, you know, we can bring it back to the next meeting and, and you know, reallocate it that way. I have to talk to the county. I mentioned it to, to Carrie when I was at the meeting. And, you know, the funds have to be reallocated. We just have to have them spent by, 20, by December 31st of 2013. I don't want to be sitting here like we are right now, though, going, oh, whew, we got the check-in. I want to have this money spent down as quickly as possible. Madam Clerk, I have a question. This, we've got sidewalks that are sinking and raising like that downtown, mm -hmm. okay? Does that qualify for CDBG? That will qualify for probably one more year. Okay, here's what I'm thinking. If we put that out for bid and we can 
spend that five thousand dollars there plus some out of the mm -hmm. out of the street fund. That's out of the side out, out of my sidewalk money. That's a very viable project then also. And I, I I would I would much rather put it down there. And I'm not saying that our senior citizens don't deserve decent doors. Mm -hmm. but what I'm saying is that we've got trip hazard down mm -hmm. there. I agree. And we don't need that. So if we get yep. that taken care of, I think it's going. That's going to be the place to put it. Well, if you're willing to spearhead that project, go ahead. Go ahead and get the bridge up. <laughs> yeah, it's just. I mean, we and uh, of course that's no, something that, that we've that talked that. about in the past. That's and yes, fine. it needs to be done. I don't know if winter time is probably the best option for that to be done. But that's okay because we can we can spend this in the spring or in the summer we next get, year too. We can get all the engineering done, get ready to go, and then Okay, that's and that's it. like I said, it's it's that's another viable project, and yes, that needs to be done for sure. But I just wanted to run mm -hmm. that by you just for thought. So that was it. I didn't want a motion; just wanted. And to we're go. not we're not getting any other money. No additional. Not money until coming. 2014. And then we're going to get ninety thousand dollars. So put on your thinking caps and start planning now because we do not. Is, is that a guarantee? No. Well, no. no. CDBG is Steve. never. Steve. Steve. <laughs> Just ask. You me. never ask a question unless you know the answer, right? Yeah. yeah. So no, it's it's not a guarantee. Um, going on a three-year cycle, obviously, I think helps us in a, in a sense because it's more money. You know, it's easier to spend on a project ninety thousand dollars than it is thirty-three. So right now we're we're just in that we're in the second year cycle. So, mm -hmm. um, but Mike did when Mike was running me, he said it could go up or it could go down yep. because it is a cyclical funded mm -hmm. thing. It's, so it's just he said it could be on a high year, you could be on a low year. Mm -hmm. It's just kind of the luck. And you know, again, and we brought up too at our meeting, just as a quick little update, um, the um, the nonprofits are really going to be suffering from this because they're used to getting money every year from different uh, municipalities and they're you know I mean our local ones especially are really going to be struggling although we can give them more in that year the cycle that we're on but they only have a year to but spend they it. only have a year to spend it they can't hold on to it for three years when we're on a three-year cycle so it's going to be a it's going to be difficult and for, there, there are no local municipalities that are getting the money next year no, no local ones. Yeah. So all it's, all over. I mean, like so I said, we're going to have some good money to, to give, but um, we may want to consider trying to keep it a little more local since, you know, ours, our local ones are really going to be hit, but we'll discuss that in 2014. Anyways, I just wanted to throw that out there as a potential idea. I will tell Mary that um, right now we're going to be looking into the sidewalks if, if that's what council wants. I just didn't want to hold them up either, you know. Right. So. <coughs> Any other discussion? Okay, hearing none. Any upcoming agenda items? Anyone has? Any upcoming agenda items? Hearing none. Any citizen comments? Yes, Sandy. If I can comment on that. Please. Uh, I just wanted to thank you guys very much. It was a pleasure working with you all year long and we we'll really look forward to doing it next year. And it sounds like oh. we already have a project. <laughs> I thought you were leaving. I thought you were leaving. No, no, no. Yes. Yes. Busy couple of years. Good. <laughs> well, thank you, especially yes. the downtown sidewalks. So that was a blessing to have you. So thanks. Perfect. All right. Any other citizen comments? Hearing none. Any council comments? Community events. I do believe the down uh, the business association is going to be going around Wednesday night for their decorating contest. So I. Not, I think you have to already have turned in your entry, but they are going to be judging them Wednesday night. So if you have entered, please make sure all your lights are on and everything's on outside. Santa Claus is coming to town on the 22nd, right? I think so. And uh, that is in front of the township hall. You'll see the hay rides. Just jump on board. All right. Are there any other community events? Hearing none, we don't have a closed session tonight. The time is now 7.20. Is there a motion? So moved. Motion by Mr. Audi. Is there a second? Support. Support by Mr. Ballard. Any other discussion? All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 All those opposed, nay. <coughs> Motion carried. Meeting is adjourned. Thank you. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas. Hello. Yes. I just wanted to go to